The first of two footwork patterns that we're going to learn is called the hopping step, also referred to as the front foot hop. And this is specifically for players who like to get to the side and step in, a more traditional approach to hitting the ball. So if you like to use a square stance or you're used to using more of a closed stance on your forehand or your backhand, then the front foot hop is a really good selection as far as footwork pattern to move fluidly through the shot and also transition smoothly up to the net. So we're gonna break this into two different drills and you can do this, both of them at home or at your office or wherever. And the first one is gonna be simply turning to the side, starting with your racket down, just pretending that you've already done a unit turn, you've already dropped the racket and we're gonna balance on your front foot and then swing and hop up and land on that same foot. So again, turn to the side, drop your racket, wait on your front foot, and then hop up and swing. So practice this on both sides. Um, breaking it down like this is gonna help tremendously, especially if you're usually you know, not great with, with footwork and in general your movement is a little bit clunky. Start with this, just trust me on that. Uh, so turn to the side, racket down, load your weights, hop, land, and step. I'll do one more on the forehand side, rack it down, load your weight, hop, and step. And so you can do this on the backhand side too. Uh, turn to the side, rack it down, and you'll load your weight on your, your front foot again, your opposite foot, compared to your forehand. Hop, land, and step. And same thing for one-handed backhand. So load, rack it down, hop, land, and step. So uh, start with that. And once you get a pretty good feel for loading and lifting forwards on that front foot, then you can start to practice walking or stepping into it. And sometimes this will be a full run, but start off with just a very controlled set of steps. And so what we're gonna do here is start with the foot that you're going to be loading on. And so for my forehand here, it's going to be my left foot as a righty. And so I'm gonna take one, two, three steps and then I'll hop. So one step, two steps. Your third one is gonna be the load and the lift. So step, step, hop, and land. It's just like a dance step, I guess. So one, two, three, and land. This transition is crucial. If you can't walk into it and do it smoothly, Forget about it when you get a short ball in the middle of a point. You have to be able to control it here first. Uh, so one more forehand, one, two, three. And I'll show you a backhand. So it's gonna be leading with my other foot. One, two, three. And it's critical that you lift off as you make your upward swing. So you're um, leaving the court as you're lifting with your racket. So two-handed backhand will look like this, one, two, three. Just one more time on that. So lead with the foot that you're going to be loading on. So that's it. So this is the hopping step. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna progress from here, uh, but start with these two drills just to familiarize yourself uh, with the steps and, co and familiarizing yourself with coordinating between the swing and the actual lifting with your legs and transitioning through the shot.